Hello YouTube, this is a beer review of Tropical Torpedo IPA from Sierra Nevada. According to the bottle, it's a 12 fluid ounce bottle, Sierra Nevada Brewing, Chico, California, as well as Mills River, North Carolina. Interesting. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, you guys at Nevada, please understand white ink on pale blue paper isn't a very good help to want people to read it but I'll see what I can do here inspired by the island life we created an IPA completely disconnected from the mainland we used our one-of-a-kind hop torpedo to deliver an intense rush of hop flavor and the lush aroma of mango papaya and passion fruit with every sip enjoy our tropical twist to an American IPA well, sounds delicious at the taping of this particular video it is astronomically hot outside so a nice cold fruity IPA sounds like a winner the funny thing is hello one of the neighbors the funny thing is, is I'm not a fan of IPAs as a general rule. I prefer my stouts and lagers and whatnot. Whoa, almost too much. And there we go. Blue sky. Support your local. But as I was saying, I prefer a much darker beer, something with much more body, something fuller than what you would get in an IPA. But like I said, at the taping of this particular video, it is horribly hot outside. So maybe something light should tickle the fancy. But as I give this review, keep that in mind that I do prefer fuller flavored beers, wines, and whatnots. And I usually find IPAs to be mm, too heavy in one direction and too light in others. So here we go. It is a nice... Uh, dark gold, almost a fruit-like color to it. On the screen, from what I can see on this part of the camera, it is a darker beer than what I am catching on this side of the lens. This looks almost like a, a dirty lemon, where it looks like a new guys, it looks like a dirty orange. It is a tight lace, the head is lasting a long time, and there is plenty of carbonation coming right on up. The nose. You can smell the hops. You can smell the IPA, of course. That comes out clear as a bell. But you get this weird mishmash of uh, fruits. Not exactly like you're walking into a grocery store or something. More along the lines of uh, a fruit bowl that's been out a little too long. Which I know you're thinking, how strange that you would have that smell of fermented fruit in a fermented product. How strange. But that nose is not very long lasting. It's long gone. And the head is starting to fade, but it still keeps a nice tight lace to it. The hops of the IPA comes out clear as a bell. Can't miss that at all. Very short hang time, considering. But what seems to combine with, if almost fighting with, is the fruit flavors. Now, I know that it says here on their hard-to-read label, that we have mango, papaya, passion fruit. I'm getting no papaya. I'm getting no passion fruit. Hints of mango. But what I get predominantly is grapefruit. Now that could be just me. You guys out there are going to have to give it a try and see what you think. Whether or not this has grapefruit in it. I honestly thought it did. Since I got two bottles of this before. Tried it earlier in the week on less heated day. And I could have sworn that it was all, it was, it was a grapefruit beer. But 
there's no grapefruit listed at all on the label. He said relatively short hang time. Relatively. The hot bitter comes out and grapefruit. Uh, that's about all I, all I can explain or say about this particular beer. It is perfect because for this hot summer, like I said, I appreciate a darker, more robust flavors. This kind of rides in a little bit of that angle, but the heat, I figure, is too much for you know something coffee flavor or coffee flavoring like that's so bitter that I wanted something a bit more well lighter, more fruit like. And this seemed to hit the bill, and it actually does on this hot, steamy summer day. But don't take my word for it. Try it yourself. Any comments down below would be greatly appreciated. Or better yet, as I always say, go out, buy it, try it, make a review of yourself on to let the rest of us in the YouTube community know your thoughts about Tropical Torpedo. Oh, that carbonation has come back on me already. And uh, let us know, let us in the YouTube community know your thoughts about this particular Sierra Nevada beer. So we all may be on the same page. Well, eh, we'll never be on the same page. But still, let us know your thoughts about this particular product. Until next time, keep on drinking.